Alrighty, welcome back everyone, Snowhood here into our Russian campaign and Empire Total War Darth mod. And as I did the turn flip, the Crimean Khanate decided to sally out. This works out pretty good. Uh, Mr. Mohammed Al-Habash is going to be their general. Hopefully we can uh, do a much better job than <laughs> the uh, fort battle that went on last episode. As uh, I ran out of time, even though we were trying so very much to push towards the center flag and start the countdown timer. Uh, the time did run out, uh, unfortunately. I do believe, though, we were holding in the in the melee fight overall, but it's just... Well, the timing has definitely added a difficulty level to this campaign that I am enjoying thus far. But uh, we will now defend outside, as they have to move outside the fort and destroy me from the field before the time runs out now for them. So... I have, let's see, not a lot of terrain to work with. If I want to try to attack them right off from exiting the fort, I can do that from here. Although I do suspect they will be deployed outside of the fort. Right off the bat. And if they're not, well, I guess that's just the way it goes. There's actually better terrain to see from over here. They do have a... F one cannon left, maybe? I can't actually... There was like seven guys left in that unit, so we'll see. I'll deploy my guns here. And although it's not the best viewing, it is the most flat. Like I said the other option would be to deploy potentially up here in this wall, on this hill, but I can only then shoot the right flank. I won't have any access to the left flank. Which, I'm not sure if that's going to help me. They do have cav. I'd rather consolidate my forces to this hill over here. Which is not really a hill, but a slight incline at the very least here. Uh, hopefully, I can still manage to do some damage. Our cannon, obviously, I'm just... They don't do a ton of damage, and uh, I'm not sure to what issue we have with that. But, what I'm going to do is put you guys pretty close here. To help guard these cannons if anyone tries to get too close and we have let's see I think everyone's finally small enough to form square formation now so I will be able to defend against any cav charges that come my way although we are rather weak we also should finally be able to deploy in fire by rank formation so I'll try and keep everyone in two line here. I know we're, we're pretty thin. Get you guys in three rank here on the hill. Oh, you guys do look cool, I gotta say. So far, I've been a fan of these uh, uniforms. They're not all so uh, like this guy, I guess. Just classic coat turned back on the sides. You know, this, the standard issue for all line infantry. I like that we have some variation in our units here. It's pretty sweet. Now right, we'll take you guys on top of the hill. Let's see here. So I'll put you guys up here. We have another small unit that uh, can protect the. Left flank, if need be. Rather small indeed, huh? Alright, and one more line infantry unit to stand by here. Let's not shoot, let's wait, though. Put you guys in kind of reserve, in case I need to try and figure out how to defend this corner here. We do, I think, want a little bit more on the right flank here. What do I got? One good-sized unit. They will deploy out. To the right, and I'll leave you guys in reserves here for the middle. I'm not really so f sure why I deployed so far back here. Maybe we should square this up. They have to come over to this hill to come and shoot at me. All right. I will deploy you guys forward, and you guys can deploy it here as well. I know I have a little bit of fallback here, so I guess that works out. Let's turn you off so you don't shoot me, and let's go. Ah, they deploy mostly to the right anyway, so that's a good shape for me. Let's uh, reposition you guys here across the top of that. And I'll bring you guys up to the trees here. 
There we go. Marching forward for Mother Russia. Sure hope uh, we're able to... Oh, General's bodyguard right out front. Alright, let's deploy across the top of this bit. Um, is there a reason why you're not shooting? I don't understand what the hell's going on here. You're on fire at will, and you are not... Good open fire. I mean, their general's just hanging out here. I'm sorry, mister, but, uh, I don't know what the hell is going on with my cannons. Are they confused? They seem to be a bit confused. Their cab is inside. They have some extra... a mob. Will that be you guys? Ah, yes, the armed populace. Ragtag bunch of sword wielders here. Another cannon shot. Alright, dropped a few more of them. Alright, we'll start aiming here. A lot of fire locks here. There's those Orta. That's uh, what I believe to be a unit that has a little bit longer range and slightly better accuracy, but I'm trying to remember back to my Ottoman campaign. This is a similar unit that was used by them, as well as, I think, the Mughal Empire. Should have been some decent damage here to this pile. Yeah, so I missed the one line infantry from the garrison, though. Okay. Reload those guns, man. Reload the guns. I might be able to deploy these guys back here. Let's see. Let's get you guys to form up up here. Might have range. I might be able to see over my own men. If they're coming right through here, I may be able to shoot at them here. Make ready! Fire! Beautiful boys, beautiful. Keep up the fire. Although, what is this? This one is not firing by rank. They're like, screw that. Regiment of foot. Switching to canister shot. Just in the nick of time, it looks like. They're gonna try to move in. Wait till they get in range of the bombers here. The hand gunner, hand grenaders. Oh yeah! Here come the cannon shots. Oh, that unit just got annihilated. And to make matters worse, these guys fire by rank now. Oh, I gotta love it. Give him a volley. Well, I didn't hit any of my own men. That time we might have. The two guys is not so bad. They're all kneeling to reload. That's pretty sweet. Ah. Actually, stop. Whew. Too close, too close, too close. But go and help out. No, I didn't mean to do that. That's the wrong unit. You guys don't shoot. Hold on. They're trying to form square. We'll push them back. Alright. Reform. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. We're going to make the line a little bit thicker here.
That sucks. I was aiming at the other guy here. Crap volley. Alright, let's move you guys forward. I'm not sure if you're going to be behind that hill or not, but... You guys are in position to shoot. Let them have it, boys. Looks like he kind of shot the ground in front of us, but... No idea what happened there. Gosh, jeez, these guys are out of control. Oh. Messed up again. Oh, shoot. Is that really what they're doing? Reserves, move forward. General. Alright. Wait, what ha- Oh my gosh, what did I do? Son of a bitch. I don't even know how that happened. Oh, wow. I didn't quite send him in to attack. Get in there and help out. I don't- I sent the general close. I was gonna send him in to attack, but I didn't. Hold, Grenadiers, hold! Kill the armed populace. Reinforcements are here. Don't worry, your flank is secure. Our line is holding. Tartar is a cav unit. They'd be slinging some bow at us. Oh yeah. Watch out for those arrows, boys. Use the trees. Use the tree. Take cover. I don't understand. No, I just, that's. I know I only switched you to solid shot. Instead, somehow I clicked. That's ridiculous. I really messed that up. I guess. All right. Let's reform the line here. And oh shoot! You guys. I did not put you on toggle guard mode, and you guys decided to run in on your own. Alright, fall back. How many more of you died? Oh, jeez, quite a few of you. That is really unfortunate. Here, reform here, please. Okay. Canyon's driving back that unit, and they do have what is left inside the three pound horse, which we will have to go and find. The general's bodyguard. Well, I guess we can have a slow march forward. I think we'll have to go inside to get that cannon. I think I can send my general in there probably to go and acquire that, but uh, we'll just move these guys up, keep the pressure on them. Have the cannon fire here. Yep. Good shot, good shot. Oh, that was a direct hit. Direct hit. Would suck. Oh, that one was two. It would not be the greatest to get struck by cannon, I gotta say. I mean, they're a little obvious, but yeah, you know, just. Down slope of the hill, we have no shot. So we'll put you guys out here. Try if the cannon drive them off the hill. I'm not sure if that door is open. The door is open. The general can make it through. Drive them back, boys. Drive them back. Guess we can probably speed this up here. I won't charge because I probably run. Yep, I'd run right through my own men and kill them. Ah, there we have. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. If that's gonna route on, yes, okay. I mean, they sallied out, so the issue here would be that I might still have to fight them for this fort, but I'm not really sure. I don't siege people out in Empire Total War, and I was just thinking about that before I started this part going. I don't actually know what. 
I've never just sat there and held the siege in this game. I always attack them, figuring I can do a lot of cannon damage to the walls and destroy them. I mean, time, I've never played with time, so I'm used to sitting back and letting the cannons do all the work, which, why, I mean, of course, that's what you would do. You wouldn't do, you wouldn't send your boys in until you knew you had a proper attack, some way to actually get in there, a, a, uh, a point of penetration to actually mount your charge. I mean, to throw ropes up the wall, I mean, it's kind of, I don't really know why they chose to do that in this game. It wouldn't seem like the best strategy, obviously, if that's what you're going for in this time period. Um, but I, I, I always would have figured, basically, that the cannons would do the work and give you the entry point. And even in medieval sieges, uh, the siege tower, yes, ladders. I mean, if you get, if you got nothing else, but if you had siege equipment, you would use that siege equipment to the utmost. Well, there's our kills. Everything kind of worked out pretty solid. Um, we did not lose very many people. We held a very decently strong defensive point. And like I said, I think they sally out, but they don't get killed off. So we will still have to make our attack to seal the deal there with the Crimean Kenneth. Uh, we're off the Confederacy. Asking for a military alliance, they're willing to pay and give access. Well, this is interesting. I they've been asking for a lo you know a place beforehand. Uh, this would give me at least a friend for a little while in India and uh, a chance to really take it to. Ah, they're allied with Persia. Hmm. That would be against what I need. Although I still need to wreck the Ottomans before I think I can fully send troops uh, into that territory down south and then to the east. Um, I haven't been taking alliances with anyone. I don't really feel that we need to take an alliance with somebody and I don't feel that they're going to attack me either. I guess maybe they can sweeten the deal. Although at some point maybe all of these people are going to start allying against me. But I'll hold only my European allies for the moment. Although it would totally disrupt the South if they knew this the Russian Empire backed somebody. That would leave them at war with the Mughals, the Spain, Portugal. People I'm gonna have to actually go to war with, obviously. And I am trading with them for now. I don't really need military access. I guess maybe they can sweeten the deal. Try it and provide something better than that 650 if you're going to come at me with some money. I mean, like I said, there's no way that they're leaving this territory to come and attack me. There's definitely enough to deal with down there. So, we will refocus our efforts and uh, continue moving westward for the moment until Poland's destroyed, Poland, Lithuania. And Crimean Canaan's going to be destroyed, and then we can, like I said, focus our efforts south as the west will then be taken care of. Sweden as well will be wiped out, so we will then have to figure out new ways to go because we have our alliances with Prussia, Austria, and Denmark. Oh, you bastard. Or my trade lane there. Okay, so I got my ships back finally. Get them replenished. They went the safe route. Take you guys. Get you all cleaned up there. Some new wood and squared away and all the le leaks and holes fixed, right? And uh, I have no idea why this flag is tattered still. I couldn't figure it out last time. Everyone is replenished. To my knowledge. Here, I mean, all the numbers are the same. So I don't... It must just be a little... Something a little funky buggy going on there, but so we're holding our siege for three more turns here As we are not going in to go against this mortar in the same fashion I want them to have to deploy out at me plus we have the puckle gun and our howitzers just are not performing The way I need them to perform yet once we have carcass shot we will be in much better situation, but uh, until then <laughs> We'll just continue as is the thing else is ah what seems to be here going on? You were broken. Of course. Broken. 
successful mission. The workers are on strike in Poland, which we have them exempt, and that's the way that's going. There's nothing more I can do. Um, the seminary here, I need to destroy, but since he's inside of, inside of, <laughs> I cannot do this. Uh, there's my agent. I will move you now. I have one already in Brussel. So he's doing his job there. I think what I'll do is send you down here to get to uh, Serbia, Belgorod here. So we have my alliance here, alliance here. So he's holding a Transylvania. I have no idea what's here anymore. Let's see. Ah, but I will. And you're doing your job. Raising our Orthodox religion. Right? Yes. That's right. Uh, so we got the workers on strike. Enemy raid. All right, let's go through the line here. Technology. All right. So enemy raid here. Fix this. And enemy raid here. Fixing that. Trade route. Okay, we know that. And trade gained, plus one to command when besieging. Excellent. Mr. Nicola. And first rate ship of the line for Great Britain. Ah, uh, they've built the the king of the waters, huh? First rate. Wow. They have a first rate ship and a heavy first rate. 635 firepower. That hull strength, low maneuverability, yes, but 8 speed. Ultimately, man, when that thing lines up and shoots at you, there's no getting away, though. There is no getting away. That thing is devastating. Alright, so this bit of army has been cleaned up. That's good. And not a lot of money has come in due to some of the things being broken, I guess. And a lot new... A lot more army that has been purchased. So the Crimean Kate seems to be stuck. They are not going to move out. That's good. Keep them back there. Oh, I did come across uh, back here. I want the roads completed here. Because that'll help, obviously. And the roads completed back here. Just a bit of income. Keep things moving. Oh, and here. Apparently, I, don't, I, I want the roads. You know... <laughs> We've got to have roads. Roads. Connect all my lands back here. Faster trade, faster resource gain, more wealth. Everyone else has the roads completed. All right. So that's all good and dandy. Four more turns and three more turns. And public order squaring itself away slowly but surely. All right, no upgrades, not a lot. When you don't make that much money on one turn, it's difficult to decide where to spend your money when you have so many locations to worry about. Um, let's see, that's right, I was talking to uh, Shampoopy about the, uh, when you attack places with forts, there's no repair the fort option. I think it auto it must automatically repair I mean, this fort, we had attacked, right? Caused damage, and it was fully intact on the next time I came back. So, I'm not sure exactly how that works. And how fast the walls are replenished. But, there's no repair option here. There's only an upgrade option. But, the walls were intact. And, we had caused damage there to make that assault. Right? Or, was that up here? No, I'm not actually, man. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't recall. Where did I have that effort going? 8%. You guys are doing your best to turn the tide here. Trying to get the Orthodox religion spread as far and wide as we possibly can. So I think what I'm going to do... We got our ships back. Our fleet down here is trading. Not for much, though, right? 1,200. It's not... 
a lot. Although we only have the five ships here. Although between them... So 300, 400, almost 500. So basically... Almost, yeah, half the money, or if not actually a bit more than half the money, is going to just pay for these guys being there. So that's not a lot of money coming in for that. That's interesting. Although I am going to pull 17 in here this time. I'm not sure what happened last time then. Only a couple buildings were broken, and then I have this here to deal with. We got a brig, a sixth rate, a second rate, and a second rate. All right, and I have uh, fifth, fifth, fourth, fourth, a sec, a third. Admiral's third, fourth, fourth, fourth. Can we, like, move him to the front? No. Snow reorganizing the position. I actually do want to have a naval fight. I want him off. What? Because what am I doing here? I'm losing. Uh, Russia, let's see here, 1795, 2261, so that's the 2000, that's 4000, and 5500, actually all the money is going through, no matter, he's blockading, but all of mine is making it through, how is that possible? I mean, he's the, Sweden's the only one not making money off of this trade route. That's that's kind of weird. I guess I really don't have to go deal with him. Although, if I really want to be a blockader of sorts, I could put my fleet here and not even let him return back to uh, the Baltic Sea. That would be one hell of an option. Or I go and fight them for some good experience. I mean, it is the two second rates. We will have quite the battle with them. But I do have a lot of ships to maneuver around. It depends on if we want to have a naval battle. But I think... Let's see. I'm not, i got to flip a lot of turns, though, to get us forward. What I'll do is move my fleet over here, then. I don't need to block it. I'm not going to pirate that, but... I mean, it would be quite a bit of money, but I does it. I still don't remember if it actually pisses off your friends or not. But if I sit here, then there's at least he can't return this way. I guess there's still that option. He has this port, but I guess I could have broke both of those ports before on the way out instead of probably still could probably could go back here, hit this, and come out and. Either which way, once this goes, their fleets go too. So that's that. Let's just actually. Um, let me go and just grab a couple more things for upgrades then. Just get those farms going and we'll move it along. Let the rakes do their thing. So I keep moving down to where I already had positioned them. I need to get into the Ottoman territory. Keep an eye on things down there. Just waiting for some public order before I move my other two armies. The one that's now in Warsaw and the one that is in... Uh, somewhere along the water there, just to the right of the screen now. Ah, you want a peace treaty? No. Um, well, I guess I should have looked at what was left in that fort. Oops. Oh, well. Maybe I can even get them to surrender. I totally forgot to look at how much damage we did to the fort after them sallying out. But they didn't sally out this time knowing that they wouldn't have a chance in hell. Ah, no one's going to ask for any military alliance now. No money on hand to provide. With any actual reason to... uh to join you? Oh, I think not. Not a lot there. Ah, you wrecked me farm. 
Alright. Gonna have to get rid of those, uh... Those two little armies there. Take care of them and we'll not lose any more of my farm. Look, that's a lot of fleets stacked up down there. I wonder what they're doing. Looks like I should have put myself farther out on the fleet, seeing how that guy uh, decided to hit Denmark's port, it looks like. Uh... Yeah, you're cutting off some trade to me. That is ridiculous. And I can't go in there and get him. So that's no good. Alright, down here, let me look. What, what did I do? So, that's what they have left. They managed to get another general? How is that possible? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, huh? Workers riot. Iron. Oh. You've destroyed. Here it is. Wow, they did destroy it. They flat out wrecked that thing. Um, and now we're to minus 10. So... I don't see a rebellion, not yet, but why all of a sudden did it go so far negative on that turn flip? That seems strange, and looks like we had something expand over here. Is that going to be... Workers Riot and Poland, okay. Agent recruited up here. So many rakes being recruited. Uh, on your way to Bohemia, please. Actually, just uh, attempt to make your way in there. Uh, construction report, good. We just got the agent recruited, yes. Uh, military technology, cadence marching, alright. Let me look on, I think we have you to... Let's go for this one. Minus one, happiness, clamors for reform, plus four, wealth, and construction costs for cultural buildings down and enables classical university. Uh, same kind of thing, research rate, wealth. Plus 1% climate to reform and division of labor. Uh, this is a lower class happiness, but then plus happiness. I don't, I don't that's kind of weird. Um, plus 5 turn wealth, 12% industrial. Build. Oh, more money actually coming from that one. But 6 turns, we'll get through those pretty quickly. Uh, cadence to marching, you're on your way to there, new model bayonet, won't be far behind, fire by rank, let's see, carcass shot, okay. I like, you know, make sure we have a couple schools in each area getting to work here. Uh, I already got you getting fixed. So, over here, um, I think I'll go for a workshop then. Somehow I need you guys to get happier. And I think getting rid of the armies in my land will probably be the best way to go here. All right, and then two new moons. Uh, yes, astronomers are finding things in the sky with great big telescopes. Ah, yes, Kirtlin. This is what I'm waiting for. Six. Uh, it's got to go down. A bit more than what we got, but I wonder if I can leave the axe behind? Let's take a look. It's zero. Ah, good. Just enough. So, you're not... Well, what I'm looking to do basically is replace this army. And keep me moving. So you guys can come in here and... We'll take these guys out, and hopefully we can go and kill off these dudes around the territory. I want, first off, though, I'm going to push you out of here. Oh, wow. Uh, this is one of those battles where, watch, even, I'll show you guys here. This is how crappy the auto-resolve is going to be. Look at 451 soldiers down. All because of one cannon. Now I can destroy that. And have to pay however much that was to fix my cannons, my cab, which I would have been able to run that whole army over with just the two cab units. 
I mean, it's just ridiculous that so many men get killed in an auto resolve on this. Mind blowing, I say mind blowing, but they refuse to surrender. But I'll auto resolve this as well. And look at on this one, we only lose 247. I, I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me in how this works, but... In fact, what do we... Uh, I mean, if I destroy this, well, I, be, I should be able to rebuild something in my... I don't know. We'll leave it. We'll have the upgrade option. I mean, can it destroy it? Trait gained, and no longer do I have to worry about the armies that were over here. Alright, extremely happy. No broken anything. Alright. And you. 80% infiltration. Agent detected. Didn't make it. Wow, a couple mob and a couple bazooks. <laughs> Alright. But here. Ah, you guys are actually still not the most happy. But I have the two line infantry from here. I can leave those guys behind and I can move you guys this way let's see here because I don't see any armies that I really need to be concerned about I'll put you guys up on this hill all right and you guys are here kind of blockading the way to get over to Crimea but basically we're on the move now to Moldavia Replenish the army. Everyone's taking damage. Okay. Illness. Ah. So, here. I wonder if these guys get. Uh, I wonder if they get a bonus for. Uh, public order. It's the most amount of manpower you can get in a unit 500. I know the line infantry and whatnot come close, but those extra 50 men, that's another 100 with every, you know, a couple of units. If we can get them, a few of them stacked up here, maybe we can have this public order squash. But right now, I mean, I even want them to pay taxes. It's uh, out of control, is what this is, but I guess I don't really need that money. And uh, you up here, how do, how's it? They managed to buy a general in the time that we're sieging them out. Uh, they're not able to buy units still, are they? It seems insane. I guess I might as well replenish my men if we're going to be sitting out here and you're getting free boys inside. Then that's... I think I'm missing something. Alright, my fleet is ready to f sail away again. Excellent. We'll be able to send you down to, uh, well, let's see here. Actually, we're at a tight spot, but I want to go, I need to, uh, let's see, to Brazil. Well, head on this way, at the very least. Let me think here. I can head them to the coast of Brazil. I don't know what's down here, but we can take a look. As opposed to sending them here, where I would only be able to stack up on this here. And the trade overall, we got a lot of tusks here to trade. We have a lot of furs to trade. We're getting no trade with Denmark because the port. Apparently France's port is also blockaded. Spain's also blockaded. Everyone else is good. I'm not actually trading a lot of ivory though. And it's not even worth a ton of money right now. So I guess I'll actually send my boys elsewhere it's just not we'd rather go find some cotton spices tobacco tea oh my goodness the two things we have minus the coffee over here are the lowest things in the totem pole for trade all right so with that in mind i will send you guys uh down to South America and trade there. <clears throat> Alright. Can I actually make it to South America from here? Nah. Mid-Atlantic. 
All right. Now what I want to try and pull off here is, I guess, uh, well, that's a good question actually. I don't want them to go through here, but I also don't want them to go attack my little fleet. What will I do in the meantime? Hope that Denmark kicks them out on this turn flip here actually. Probably the best choice I have. And I had to deal with you. It'd be nice if Austria came and helped a bit there, but uh eh. Alright, so I got my roads back here. Everything else is done. I think ministers are pretty much taken care of now. There's not much I can pull off here. So everyone's got at least a fourth star and some positives. Go agents, continue walking south. And now that we should have, uh, let's see, Great Britain wants military alliance. They still want me to give Comey, which is out of control. Just not gonna give you land. I don't, there's some flaw in the diplomacy for this game, I tell you. Why is trading land such a big thing? Give me money. I'm not going to give you my land, though, because if I give you that little bit of land back there, right, that means your faction will never get destroyed because I'll be protecting it, but I'll want that back, so I'll have to go to war with you to reacquire it. I mean, it's something I used to do in Medieval 2 with a faction that you were trying to get peace with for a moment, basically, and then were willing to go back to war with them. So you gave them a bit of land inside your territory, and then since they nobody was there, you can walk right back in. It was easy capture. Ah, so here you're willing to trade socket bayonet for selective breeding and military alliance instead of wanting land, but no money. Last time you guys had a bit of money to offer me, I kind of felt a little bit better about taking some money. Although giving. The socket bayonet would be helpful, but let's see if you get a better offer later on. I'm holding out. At this point in time, it is not beneficial. Oh, the Ottomans, what are they gonna do? I may have some Ottoman fleets to fight down there in the south. Once we make it. Let's see. And they have. Oh, can my rakes attack their religious personnel? Actually, I don't remember either. I'm really not big with using the rakes very aggressively in this. I'll just use them as actual spies. Sabotaging. Not the best on my efforts here. Oh, they did come and attack me. Can I. No! I clicked retreat and they died? I just lost that whole fleet because of... What? Wow. I don't even know what happened there. Why did it die if I hit retreat? I was gonna see if they would actually follow me to... What? <laughs> Catastrophic failure. I mean, I guess I can upgrade that fleet to better... I lost an admiral. I didn't hit auto-resolve. I hit retreat. I mean, if I couldn't retreat, then it, it was, shouldn't have, it should have just been a grayed out option. I mean, what the hell just happened? I, I don't know what just happened. Honestly, I've just 
I feel like I've just been taken for a ride that wasn't part of the plan. Wait, not you. I didn't click you. I just want these two. Wow. I don't know. I honestly don't know what the hell just happened there. Mind blown. Mind blown right there. Just completely confused by what happened. Gosh damn. Alright. So we have no square with these guys because they're over 400. Go to remember that. But we do have some stakes to deploy here. Let's see if I can get you guys. Uh, all right. Come over. Out of, out of the way. Watch you there. And you there. So then I can do this until you guys kind of meet up and stretch yourselves out a bit. Maybe get a little bit of cover? I, I can't even... I'm actually just really dumbfounded by losing that, uh... That art... the fleet? Just a bit com... just actually a bit dumbfounded right now. Kind of forgot about where I put my puckle guns there. All right, Get you guys over there. Uh, we do have more line infantry to use here. Huh? Really? I. Yeah. Just gonna be a little bit confused for a minute on what just happened there. Maybe, I'm sure you guys will have an explanation for me on why that messed up so badly. It sucks for these guys that are on the outside. They're like, yeah, no protection for us, but... They don't have any cav, so there's no point in putting the cav stakes out. They, it's all infantry. I just was remembering that here. So you guys are good and put you guys over here in the flank. I mean, the one thing I have to worry about is the mortar. So I'll put you guys over here. Hopefully we can uh, find the mortar, basically. I'll put you guys back here in the trees. Some of you can get protected. And uh, let's see, how about you guys? Over here, you're hidden. Just so some people don't get shot by the mortar, I guess, huh? Some reserves. Eh, I'll just stack you back here. Don't shoot. Alright, so we have the little calf unit over there. I'll take him to go with him. Basically to hunt the mortar. So wherever... Wherever he may be, I can try and hunt him down. And then I'll put you over here, spread out the guns just a bit, and let us hope that they deploy in front of me. No, of course, they deploy to the far right, kind of? Nah, not really that bad. Alright. What I will do, though, is swing you guys back. Stretch this out so we have some extra firepower here. And you are turned on to shoot. And the cav, let's see. Do I have a way? Ah, so we are out of range from each other. Some of the units inside though, some outside. They attacked me, so retreating is not the best option. What is this army doing on the side? 
you're redeploying or something? Here's their general. All right, well, looks like we're shooting at the general here because he's coming to us. Well, one got hit here. I don't know where he's going. I'm going to speed this up because I seem to be a little bit confused about what's happening. They sallied out and now they don't want to help. They don't want to participate in this here battle. Now he's streaming out right... Nope, now he's completely confused. Alright, move forward, take a shot, I guess. No idea what the hell's going on with that, General. He is more confused than I am by the fact that I lost my fleet, I guess. Stand by. Sound of those howitzer balls. I don't know. Like they went behind me, but they weren't at all behind me. I actually moved. Oh, they've dropped the mortars because of the range and they know they have to attack, but they're really not forming up in a proper sense here. I really don't want to have to chase them down, but. Alright, move over. We'll go and fight them if we need be here. Okay. Ah, the mortar team is attacking full on. Uh, I would do the same thing. Mortar assault, right? Wait, why did you... Who turned you off from shooting? I mean, I didn't even touch you from over here. That seems strange. I don't remember hitting that at all. Huh. What the hell is going on? You know, weird things happen all over the place. Buckle gun almost in range. Oh, there it is. They are full on charging. Oh, not anymore. And we don't fire by rank when we're in this big of a unit. Or for. Oh, maybe they don't fire by rank because of the unit type as well. Nothing's going the way it should be going here. So, am I gonna have to. I mean, they've only got so much time. I couldn't destroy the walls and move my way in. Again, here, though. This fort, right? I attacked it. I did do damage to this, no? At one point. I, I just think, honestly, that it self-repairs over a couple turns. I don't... Here's a unit making its way out. One, hit the two units that are actually, or the one unit that's making its way. I mean, you guys got to go outside and, f you know, one's coming in, one's going out. Uh, I don't know what's happening here. General's in the back, he's hiding. Time is against them. Time is against them. I feel no reason to move forward. This is my attempt to uh, save my men's lives here. All right, switch to the explosive shot here, explosive shell. Let's see if we get lucky. Hmph. <laughs> Mortars have reformed. All right, fell short. Not great. Howitzers, man. Hit one. Just moving target is not easy for them. Just out of range of the puckle gun, of course, as well. Which, it looks like I'm going to have to reposition this puckle gun, honestly. better spot would be to put it over here. 
all of their infantry seems to be moving to that flank. Actually, I will do that now. Where are you going? I'll put them right here, basically, and move these guys down the line. I mean, should I try and lure them into a fight? They're finally deploying out here to the right. Oh, they're going to make their whole battle line across the middle. They really just have the worst <laughs> selling out AI, I guess, at this point. All right, let's fall back because obviously we're not going to be able to do anything to them over there. Let's just get you into the trees and hide. This puckle gun moving. And I guess I can limber you up and move you over to this hill. Hell, I may even just limber you up as well. Here come the mortar team again. And mortar team suffering casualties on their charge. Fire! Yeah, no dice there for them. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna be moving back here. What happened? Oh, you're just lagging behind? Okay. Scoot over. I could have sworn I told you guys to limber it up, but again, I guess I'm just not pushing the buttons that I thought I'm pushing. I want the puckle gun here. And I need you. I mean, you can just deploy right here. That's fine. And you can deploy over here. At least I'll get you closer. I really don't need all the men over here. Or the cav. You can walk this way. And they're coming back, boys. They're coming back. Alright, seriously, speed this up. Okay, you've opened up. That's good. I guess I will tighten up my left uh, flank here. Uh, there we go. There you go. Deploy. And... Deploy. really have no idea what they're doing. Get ready. Ah, you guys are in position finally. You guys can deploy. Puckle guns are broken. Looks like some of them fell off the their holding platform there. Looks like all of them are kind of broken to be honest. And now they're not deployed in line anymore or attacking what the hell at least they're all in range for both of the howitzers here they're all tucked back in this little section here time still running out time still running out all right you two Let's move you here. You're not shooting. Still a couple of the Puckle Gun team over here. Awkward. All Puckle Guns still kind of broken, it looks like. Awesome. Hopefully they figure themselves out when they need to be fired here. Alright, let's speed it up again. I don't Sweden, come on. Just because I have a decent spot to sit. It's not even that decent, actually. And this is like the only spot that's somewhat nice, having some ground of 
some height there, some... Oh, I thought for a minute they were shooting back at me, but no, I'm firing at them. It's an explosive shot and getting no kills, of course. So they seem to be trying to reform their lines again, but they will not sally out. I mean, they... This is kind of really unfortunate, to be honest. Right, move forward to there. I said, I have no intention of moving to them. It would be nice if everything had range, but... Here, return to solid shot so you can continue firing, I guess, even if it is maximum range. Maybe get a few more kills here. Alright, one more unit trying to move itself into position, and then I swear I hope they move forward. Because if they fail again, I really don't know what my plan is. Let's move you out here. Turn you on, make sure you're shooting. And you can stand by, gonna deer. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, there was a naming for the puckle gun. I do forget though what that was. I am kind of done a poor job on doing the naming thing this time. I gotta be honest. I do apologize. So a few solid shots landing here, and they seem to be all formed up and still not moving. Half the time has gone by, with only 18 minutes left. Alright, here comes the general again. Yeah, I mean, you hit here and you continue to try and hit them. I know you're at maximum here, but you might as well try to even out a little bit of the damage. I don't... I mean, I have the range, why should I move forward? You sallied out to me. This is, uh, unfortunately a really boring battle. I know. I'll just leave it in the, uh, the fast speed here so we know it's counting down as quick as it possibly can count down. I mean, I guess... I don't know. I can try to get them to move. Maybe try and hit them on the flank over here. We'll see, I don't want to really put myself at risk in losing this cav, but... We'll see. I will do my best to try and get them to come forward. Alright. Squared up, boys. Alright, one more step. Well, I've moved them, but it's not in an attack way. They're just reforming again. Here, both hit here. It's a big blocky unit. Well, I do the most damage. General's on his way to move around again. Here. Let's move forward here. Probably get the same thing done. Get them to just move a bit, I guess. Oh. Nope, they're... Alright, they didn't move. Alright, Cav getting a few kills. I do mean a few. Oh, no, that was actually a decent volley. 227... Uh, five down. Or four, actually, sorry. Not bad. Keep going there. Shoot at this guy. He's going to be in range the longest. He's coming to me to deploy. Alright, let's fall back. And they are down to a mere six minutes, so yeah, I do apologize for this being quite the uh, non-fantastic battle at all, but uh, 
I guess that's why, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't sieged people out in this game, so I don't really know what the overall strategy of the AI is when they do sally out, but I can see now that they don't have one. It's lacking completely with any type of effort. So I will let the time go and a defeat to them, sadly. But at the cost of the AI not being aggressive on this, it's uh... I don't know, it's the way it goes. I guess out, uh, sieging out people, knowing you have the advantage, is a, a fair deal here. The AI is not going to be able to figure that one out. Countdown is going. 2 minutes 30, and fast. Down to 2 minutes. Oh, make a move. Artillery having a moment to fire. One minute left. Ah, uh, good hits here. Unfortunately, I think the artillery is still aiming at a particular unit and not just firing at whoever's closest, but luckily right now they're hitting a unit that is in range. All right. Well, that's that. Unfortunately, like I said, I do apologize, but uh... I'm not about to suffer the casualties of going in to fight them when they attacked me. Thus, why I'm using the time. Look at that. There's no kills across the board. Nope. It's going to count that we actually engaged, but they didn't... <laughs> yeah. They get... They suffer massive losses. I guess in return for me losing my fleet. There, we're even. How about that? I try to retreat my fleet, it totally gets wrecked because of I don't know what happened, and then they don't sally out fully from their their fort, and uh, that happens. So we're looking at a very battered army now, with only one more turn before they have to surrender. A successful mission. Trade agreement with Spain has been cancelled. All right, trade agreement with the United States has been canceled. Two recruitments, construction report, the roads have been completed. All right, so enemy raid here, fix you. Enemy raid here, fix you. Oh, good, he's in a better position for me to attack though. Trade route raided here, not cool, but that'll be dealt with here in a moment. And traits gained here, happiness, morale, and morale. Excellent. Uh, an agent recruited again. I'm actually kind of getting tired of having so many rigs being recruited. Uh, how about uh, just go this way? Keep an eye on things. Path blocked and the two moves again. So why I'm confused that... Uh, why did I lose trade with these people? They want 2,000 for that trade. Hold on a minute here. I'm still making a lot of money in Spain. Is there a reason? So, because of religion? Is that where we're at? Because of religion? Acquire chain trade here. How about Morocco? No. Unfriendly, hostile. Portugal's hostile, hostile, hostile. It's as if the religion thing is really becoming an issue now. It's all right. We're indifferent though, plus five, and we're unfriendly with Georgia at 28. That's interesting. Historical grievances, territory expansion, they don't like that. No one likes the fact that I'm expanding, so they're trying to cut me down. Huh. I, think that's, I think that's what's happening, basically. They're trying to cut me down a bit because of the move that I've been making here, pushing across the land and acquiring 
Oh, that demon is mine. Ah, we can, but low chance to do anything. Okay. Infiltrate for 81%. Ah, agent detected again. You are not doing a van fantastic job there. You're failing miserably. You're not even failing upwards. Look at the new Total Wars Warhammers. You fail with your agent and uh, he does. He gets promoted. It's mind blown. Uh, what I'm going to do though is put a church school here. We, we're going to have to do that all across the land because the uh, our being Orthodox religion and only coming out from the Far East here is going to be a slow push. That's what I think. It's going to take some time to get the uh, religion pushed all the way over there. Um, but like I said, that fleet, man, that thing was uh, just got wrecked. So one more turn. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm going to let the turn flip make the decision for me. Instead of going in and having a bloodbath, I want to do that the tactical way. We'll have plenty of other battles, but I really just don't care for the fort battles. Now, with my size of units, they just don't respond the way you need them to, and it's quite a disaster, I think. Alright, so we got the church school here going up to Orthodox here. Being replenished or paired. But I need to kill this guy off, but I can't really move. Ah, we did pull it to zero, though. Okay. So that's not bad. Um. Especially since I can replace the majority of the army as well. I am going to wrap this part up here, so thank you all for joining in. Uh, we'll try to keep these to one hour for each of the Russian campaigns here. As I have found that I think doing this is a better way to get the campaign going as opposed to the live stream, which I think most people have difficulty watching anyways. So we'll do with these one hour campaigns. I'm going to try my much um, try harder to continue the campaign and can get it going as... Uh, this is quite fun, I gotta say. We have quite a giant empire. And, uh, oh, I'll flip the turn, actually. I'll flip the turn so we can see the uh, destruction of Sweden. That is actually kind of cool to do that. Oh, so... Oh, it is fully maxed out. Okay, so the the Pasha's Palace is level 4. Um, the units that I can get here, skirmishers... Yeah, they have the 40 accuracy. see? Um, the Irregulars, not so fantastic. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do anything from this. I wonder if I actually should destroy this. Uh, the Repression Tax Bonus. It's a government building. I mean, we have... If I can find a place that only has... Here government building we would be getting the Cossack line infantry and some other cav so I guess all in all ah governor's palace would be level four and it's still the same unit so I guess it's a regional recruitment over there or potentially it is from that palace I guess it doesn't really matter what type of unit we're gonna get from that it's not gonna be a fantastic one at all um, so let me do this uh, sure. Right now I don't need the infantry. Pleasure gardens here. Yes, that helps the public order, but is this not... This is not a place I need to worry about public order. Where I do need to worry about it is right across the border. Vilnius is n another one that's not exactly a big deal, but... Yeah, let me get this other... All the states. Uh... All right, look at that wealth going. Oh, the fleet that I lost. Naval recruitment, so fourth rate, uh, fourth rate, the admiral's fifth rate. So I don't really. There's not much to be gained here at all, is there? Fifth rate. I move you up to a dockyard, which will unlock fourth rates. But um, again, dockyard going up for fourth rate. I mean. We need access to a bigger ship than that, I believe. Commercial port gets us a fifth rate. All right, I'll save the 2,500. We'll put in our save and let us flip the turn then. Oh, actually, while we're here, I'm gonna move up to this position. So we're gonna continue keeping 
people out. Here we go. Oh, wrong button. Alright. Oh, I should have killed off that army. Actually, it's okay. They they moved the bigger one to me. So now I can regroup since that little army moved forward to Warsaw. We can put together a larger army to attack Poland Lithuania with. Just a little bit more here. Come on. Be friendly to me. So I can destroy you. No? Maybe? I wonder how long my alliances with Austria and Prussia are going to last. Hell, even Denmark. And did I miss something? But did Sweden take Norway? There was a blue. Yeah, there's blue border up there. Is that. Oh no, that's friendly border, right? Ally border. Red would be an enemy border. Come on, let's see what Sweden does. I mean, with the casualties they lost on the. I mean, it might have been an auto resolve battle, but. I feel like I want to see what happens when you siege something out. As I've, like I said, have not sieged someone out to zero. Oh, there goes Georgia. Wow, they got just destroyed. All right. Well, that changes things in the south quite a bit there. Now we are border to border with the Ottomans on two points on the opposite sides of the Black Sea there. Wow, that is incredible. Georgia just got wrecked. Well, I'm not looking forward to that because the army that we have down south is not exactly a tip-top army. Uh, they hit my farm and it looks like they moved maybe out of my region though. We'll see here. Just a couple more factions to go. Alright, Spain, Sweden. This fleet is on its last sailing it's the last thing it'll do. Oh, wow. It's still a 50-50 fight. Are you kidding me? Well, I am going to save this for next time as I don't fully understand how this is possible. 725 versus 4,638. I, I honestly have no bloody clue how the hell this is even remotely possible. But I will save this for the next time, so stay tuned as we destroy Sweden next episode for sure. And continuing our rampage through Central Europe. And now we'll definitely be fighting the Ottomans on a full-scale attack or front down there in the south. I'm Snowhood. This is our Russia campaign. And I'll see you next time.